Since I first made a video on this powerful new Agentic IDE, it has gotten a ton of new upgrades and honestly, it might be one of the best Agentic code editors out there right now that is also free. Allow me to reintroduce Trey AI. From advanced agent workflows to real-time file editing and seamless integrations, Trey AI has evolved into a serious coding companion. And the best part is, it's completely free. You get access to state-of-the-art models like Gemini 2.5 Pro and Claude 3.7 Sonnet and many others at no cost. But there is a kicker. You do get access to these models completely for free, but Trey AI uses your data for training purposes, which might be a concern if you're working with proprietary or sensitive information. However, if you're using it for personal projects or learning, this is likely something that won't be an issue for you. For those who are unfamiliar with Trey AI, it's an AI-powered IDE built to enhance human AI collaboration in software development. It acts as a both code editor as well as an autonomous AI agent system that's going to enable you to build, debug, and complete projects faster and more intuitively. Since my last video on Trey AI, it has received a lot of new updates. In terms of its capabilities, you have an agentic capability built within the actual IDE that's capable of autonomously editing your files, deleting files, executing terminal-based commands, and so much more. You can even configure and customize your own AI agents. It also has more context and accuracy, meaning that you can provide context to your overall code base, and it's gonna be able to readily make changes across all the different files that you tag. But that's not even the major update that I wanted to mention today. They have introduced a lot of new things like their own plugin that you can install within VS Code and JetBrains. You also have the new agent rules plus tools to define your agents. You have MCP integration and so much more, which is something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video. Still spending hours manually tweaking prompts, running the same test cases, and praying your AI behaves the way you want? Well, say hello to Langwatch, which is today's sponsored. The all-in-one open-source large language model ops platform built to help AI teams deploy faster and smarter. With Langwatch's optimization studio, finding the best prompt or model isn't guesswork anymore. It's fully automated. Powered by DS Spy, Langwatch doesn't just evaluate your large language model outputs. It declares, solves, and predicts the most effective path instantly. No more vibe checking. Non-technical domain experts can collaborate, annotate, and evaluate outputs without writing code. Devs, you get full observability, batch testing, and cost tracking. And guys, you can track everything latency, cost, performance, even compliance metrics, all in one single place. Self-host it, or even use Langwatch Cloud with full enterprise-grade security, GDPR, as well as ISO compliant. From RAG pipelines to agent routing and jailbreak detection, Langwatch turns your large language model pipeline into a production-grade system. Start optimizing your AI stack today, where you can deploy your AI agents eight times faster with Langwatch, Use the link in the description below to get started, but with that thought, let's get right back into the video. Now, if you're looking to install Trey, you can easily get started by installing it for Mac or for Windows. But currently, it's not available for Linux, but it's a one-click installer, so install it for your operating system. After installing, you'll be greeted with the introduction of Trey, and once you have uh, passed through the introduction, you can click on Start Exploring, which will take you to the IDE. Now, this is just a previous generation I had with Trey, but you'll be then sent over to this main dashboard and you can see how sleek and nice it actually looks. You have the ability to also integrate other extensions into your IDE with the extension store. This is where you can see I have root code, client, docker, and a remote explorer integrated within this IDE. But overall, you can go ahead and upload a folder like your code base. And on the right hand side, you'll be able to work with the Gentic tray agent you have the capability to chat with your agent you can tag different agents that you can customize and create on your own you have the ability to actually create your own agent so that it is going to have certain tools to use you have the ability to also build with the mcp itself which is giving the agent additional functionality and tool use 
to actually perform actions. Now here's the best part. If you click on the model selection list, you'll see all the models that you can generate with completely for free. You can see there's new models even being added like the best coding model available right now, which is the Gemini 2.5 Pro. You can simply request it, create me a SaaS landing page. And then you can simply go ahead and send this in and you'll see that the trade agent will work on autonomously executing this task for us. And there we go. It looks like it has finished generating this. And what you can do is you can apply the changes to a new file. Uh, you can have it copied or you can insert into a certain section of your where you have your cursor highlighted. But we're going to add this to a new file and we're going to open this up. And just like that, we had this fully generated for free with the Gemini 2.5 Pro. And you can see how good this actually looks. This is just one simple example of what you can do with Trey AI. And this is where we're going to be taking a look at all the new capabilities a part of it. Now, let's take a look at all the features further in detail. Now, if we take a look at the new agent feature, if you click on this, you have the builder, which is the main tray agenda capability to work with uh, the agents to build out anything that you request through natural language. But then you have the builder with MCP. This is where you can automatically add different model context protocol servers and you can click on go to add. And this is where you can simply add various sorts of MCPs. And like I mentioned before, MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It's an open standard that enables an AI agent to securely connect with different servers like Fetch or Gmail. And it is going to allow the AI agent to interact with these external tools and data sources, which is going to enhance their functionality and contextual understanding. Think of it as an additional plugin to enhance the agent's capabilities. So for example, we have this Puppeteer uh, MCP, which is going to enable browser automation and web uh, scraping. So we're going to click on this MCP and we can click on confirm. And then the AI agent will work on adding it autonomously for you. So you won't even need to do anything. And once it has finished initializing, it'll say it is ready to use. And now you can see that it has been added to our builder mcp and this is where we can now go back into the main tray chat select the builder with mcp and we can perform a browser-based automation task like scraping the contents off of the tray uh, ai website so we can go back into tray and ask it can you scrape this website using the mcp for me and then i'll put it as markdown and we can go ahead and click enter this will use the gemini 2.5 pro and it will execute with the builder mcp so you can see right now it is analyzing due to the gemini 2.5 model being a reasoning model and it's going to then thoroughly output this context as markdown so right now it is asking me to please open a folder to save the file in this project so we can then go and save it to a new directory so right now you can see that it is asking to use the Puppeteer MCP. So we're going to click on run. Now, one thing you can also do is you can set all of these commands to be autonomously executed by the AI. I personally don't uh, agree on doing that because you want to have some sort of overview of the AI whenever it's making changes. Right now you can see it is going over to the Trey AI website due to the mcp allowing access for this and it's going to then go ahead and scrape all the contents from this website for me so you can see right now it has actually created a markdown folder with all the contents it had scraped using the puppeteer mcp from the tray ai website so let's go over to that and open it up and you can see that it has scraped all the contents over here now you also have the abilities to add images and then with the context you can even use web search capabilities with different models. You have the ability to reference docs, workspaces, similar to how you would with Composer with Cursor. Now here is another example of me creating a full stack task management app. And in this case, you can see all the edits can be reviewed and accepted all at once or individually. Now you also have features like autocomplete where you can edit it right in line or you can ask and code it within the chat to improve the code or ask on regenerating it. In this case, it can also run terminal based commands, which is also really helpful. And just like that, we have our application fully generated. This is our task management app. And it looks really nice. 
you have a good plugin front end and it also has functional capabilities of adding new tasks and adding a priority to it. I did all of this completely for free while accessing state-of-the-art models. This is why I believe Trey AI is a great way for you to easily prototype for your personal projects and it's something I highly recommend that you take a look at with the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some sort of value. Make sure you take a look at all the links that I use in the description. Follow me on the newsletter. If you haven't already, make sure you get subscribed to the second channel. This is where I'm going to be posting regularly on new AI uh, tools. Make sure you join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you get subscribed, turn the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.